Hey everyone, um, I am again keeping my promise on making videos lately, and I'm sorry if you hear noises in the background. My sisters are home with me for spring vacation. Um, my two younger sisters, we have spring vacation going on, they're home, and my parents are out, so they're going wild, and they're listening to One Direction, and I hope you don't hear the song in the background, because I'm pretty sure that's copyright. But let's hope we don't. And if you hear some crazy laughter, trust me, it's not coming from me. I don't have, um, I'm not crazy or anything. It's my sister's. Um, comment if you like my makeup and my hair today. I actually worked today. Like, I actually tried to do something. But, um, today's video, I'm gonna, uh, it's gonna be a review on the Revlon Color Stay. Um, I have it in... 220 natural beige for um, normal to dry skin and it has SPF 15 which is great um, for the summertime. I like using this in the summertime because this is obviously a darker color and I actually wore it today really lightly with a light hand so um, it wouldn't look overly dark on me and it doesn't look weird and I don't have like weird foundation lines or anything and I used a lighter powder on top which is what I usually do with this foundation anyway. Even for my sim um, summer, summer color, it's a little dark. Um, but I do really, really, really like this foundation. I just got it around my birthday, which was in January. And I probably got it like first week of February or something. And it was in a haul a couple videos ago. But I do love how, um, with the consistency of the foundation, it's very, it's not thick but it's not thin it's in the middle and it covers like every single imperfection you have basically and it definitely evens out the skin tone and it does feel a little heavy on the skin but if you use a light hand with it but if you uh, if you use a light hand with it it'll be fine that's what I do um, I know the first time I wore it I looked like I don't even know like I looked really weird and it, it was just too heavy and too dark for me but if you use a light hand um, it'll be good, but if you do need more coverage, I guess go with the perfect shades so you'll be able to use um, a lot more than, I, I don't know what I'm saying, but like, if you, and this is a little dark on me, I just wanted something a little darker, because I knew I'd be getting darker and it would be a waste if I got something lighter for the winter time when winter was almost over, but um, what I'm trying to say is, if you get your perfect exact shade, if you can find it, um, you'll be able to put more foundation on than if you got a lighter or darker shade which would look weird with your neck and everything. I absolutely love this. I never understood why people were so crazy about it until I got it and started using it. I seriously wore it for like a whole month straight and then I wore it, um, I think I wore it all half of Feb like the second half of February and all of March. It is so amazing. Um, honestly, I don't, I haven't found any foundation that compares to it and I don't think I'll ever be able to. Um, I do have a MAC foundation that I got and they're pretty similar but I just feel like the MAC one is really heavy. Um, it, I'm pretty sure it broke me out and I never break out. Like it broke me around, around the face, I don't know, for some like around the mouth for some reason, I don't know. I know it's definitely the foundation because it's nothing that I've eaten um, or consumed and it's none other like no other makeup that I've really used differently except for like using the MAC foundation so I don't really like that but um this doesn't break me out it's great it definitely hydrates my skin because I have very dry skin in the winter time and sometimes in the springtime also so I really do like this um I definitely recommend everyone buying it um I, I don't think there's any bad side to it except it can be very thick and cakey if you put too much on so I fairly like I definitely suggest you don't use a lot you can always build it up but it'd be a waste to have to like take it all off and put more on just so just because it was too heavy um I feel like this will finish very fast though because you do need a little bit um, more of an amount like you need more than what you usually would use for um from other foundations but I feel like this fish is pretty fast and for a drugstore foundation it's on like the pricier side it was about twelve dollars um where I live and I live on the east coast so I don't know where it, how much it is everywhere else but I know it's about twelve dollars with tax and everything um but I still do like it I am definitely going to repurchase it I don't know I might get like a different color this time though 
um, a different color, but I do like it. And I think the dry ones come with like the one for dry skin to normal skin. Usually it comes with like a clear um, cap and black inside, and the the oily skin combo oily skin. I think it is. It comes with a black cap. I don't know, but. I really do su uh, recommend and suggest this to anyone that's looking for a drugstore or high-end foundation. This is comparable to high-end. So I hope you like my small little review of it. Um, I'm pretty sure you can find a lot more videos um, on this foundation. So hopefully you liked my video. Don't forget to comment and subscribe. Bye.